basically originally what I discovered was that a protein disappeared. And uh, that was very extraordinary at the time, and that's why it was such a great discovery, because nobody had ever... Well, I, I mean, it hadn't crossed anybody's mind that that was going on. And it would, if you'd asked somebody, it would have said it was impossible. So then we had to find out what the bloody thing was. <laughs> and um, that took a while. And the, it took a very long time, actually, for the penny to drop. The, the disappearing protein had a partner, and that the partner was uh, Lee and Paul's enzyme which by that time, by the time all the bits had come together, they knew that it looked like a protein kinase. But if you tried it out, it wasn't a protein kinase. I remember Paul saying, ah, it's probably just an enzyme that uses ATP. And I said, no, Paul, it's obviously a protein kinase. It can't be anything. But, and I don't quite know who it was who first had the idea that the disappearing protein was the partner and it was an essential partner. Basically, it turned the protein kinase on. And when you made it, that made an enzyme that catalyzed cell division. And once the cells started to divide, they, they sort of round up, got into this tensed state. And uh, once you're in that tensed state, of course, the problem is how the hell do you get out of it? <laughs> and the trick was that there is an amazingly complicated uh, enzyme that destroys just the cyclin and turns the whole thing off. And that's, that's basically how it works. You make cyclin, it joins up with CDC2, now we'd call it CDK1, um, and the cell divides. You have to get rid of it to complete the division. <laughs>